What's up? This is J.D. Wilson, founder of Lead U. Today we are in Manasquan, New Jersey, meeting with one of my favorite energetic educators, the one and only Mrs. Jillian Miller. Today's bike is a Schwinn Roxy Cruiser. It's uh, probably from like 1997, uh, could possibly be from 2008. It might be from last year, I'm not really sure, but it's a great looking bike. This bike, uh, like all cruisers, they are very popular among casual bicyclists and vacationers because they're very stable. And Jillian teaches science at St. Rose High School in Belmar, New Jersey. She also loves Jerry Seinfeld, she told me. So that's why she's the perfect guest for today's Educators on Bikes Getting Ice Cream. Okay, Jill. Here is your bike. I love it. You love it? Love All right, it. awesome. Well, let me tell you a little bit about it, and hopefully you still love it when I'm done. Uh, you might be thinking, why this bike? Well, a couple things. I went with pink because uh, I know that you live a very colorful, vibrant life, um, and I thought maybe pink would be good to kind of show the uh, very vibrant teacher you are as well. Um, and uh, I don't know, there's other things you might notice about the bike as you look around. Um, I'm noticing the rust a little bit. The rust, yeah. We, we should talk. We should talk about the rust, okay? A um, couple things. One, you uh, you're a science teacher, so I know I'm sure that you you talk about the different forms and different states of matter. Is that like a is that a stretch? Is that or is that pretty close? Pretty close. You're close. You're okay, close. I'm close. Yeah, yeah. I also know. All right. So the rust. Another thing you can say about the rust is you've been teaching eight years now, right? Yes. So you've definitely weathered the storm, uh, and you're somebody who's still standing bright and tall. <laughs> Just like the bike is today, but you still, mm -hmm. it has that rust on there, but you're durable, right? Very All right. durable. Pretty close? Yeah. Okay, awesome. I love it. <laughs> you're smiling. <laughs> Hopefully you love the bike. I love the bike. Um, what we're going to do now, if you're down, um, want to just go get some ice cream? For sure. Let's okay, go. Okay, cool. Grab your bike. Let's do it. I have received a lot of letters when right. kids graduate, or even past graduation. A lot of them have written me letters or brought over gifts, especially to my children. Right. Because they're so excited that they were born. And they write things that I've inspired them. Right. And if I inspired you to choose a career path in some sort of science field, whether it be nursing, a nurse practitioner, in the dental field, right. in the actual medical field, anything that has to do with science, physical therapy. So I've gotten a lot of kids come back and just say, you really made me love science. And I Amazing. pursued it past there. So those things really come to my heart. Uh -huh. But beyond that, just you've been inspired in science. You've been inspired in swimming. You inspired me in the sport of triathlon. You inspired me to run. Yeah, all these different things all that you do. All these different things. Yeah. And they come back. And that just makes your day. If you can, make, if you can change one person. That's why you're doing it, right? What's up? How are you? I'm great. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. I'm Hello. JD. I'm Joe. Nice Joe. to meet you. I'm Kim. Kim, thanks for having us here today. I appreciate it. So what do you got going on? What's uh, What do you... You have a lot going on. We have a ton going on here. We've Is got 50 flavors. We've got dairy-free. We've got vegan options. Vegan? Yeah. Are you vegan? Oh, no, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I'm not doing the Yeah, I'm not vegan either. What is what is your favorite kind of ice cream? Big chocolate chip. It actually is? Yeah. It probably it probably seems like we planned that out, but their biggest seller, one of them, is mint chocolate chip. Jill's favorite is mint chocolate chip. So you want to go with that? Yeah, I'll favorite? do mint chocolate chip. Okay. You should go with mint chocolate chip. When we both walked in, we were looking at the quote. Uh, that's on the wall. So the quote is, you can have everything in life that you want if you would just help enough other people get what they want. So what's what's the deal with the quote? I have to ask about that. So um, my husband and I are big supporters of Zig Ziglar and our philosophy is, especially with the shop here, that you really can have everything in life if you help enough other people get what they want. So right. Our focus here is a, a give back to the community and to the children of the community to, you know, have, them have their first job and learn about communication and teamwork and, you know, uh, helping each other out. So it's exactly. We're, we have the same, same mindset. Well, you're doing it with ice cream on top of it, so you're, you're winning right now. <laughs> Something about ice cream that, like, just... I don't know. It's like mellow. It's almost like it's a. It's 
It's like meditation almost. It's a form of yoga, ice cream. You could go, right? You could go to yoga or you could eat ice cream. I feel like it's the same, you know? I think I would choose ice cream every time. Yeah. The reason we're doing this and we're, we're, other than eating ice cream is like to try to find out like what is your philosophy and what is your teaching approach and what do you think is the most important thing about your connection with the kids? Like what is your whole approach to teaching? So I think I take the trust route. Trust, what do you mean by that? So I want, I think that if the kids trust you and you allow them to trust you, mm -hmm that they will come to your class a little bit more eager to learn because if they trust that your intention is to help them achieve their goal and educate them and challenge them and teach them, right. that they'll kind of let you in and be more interested in what you're teaching them. How do you, how do you, I, I totally, totally agree with you. I think that's something that I've, I try to do as well, uh, even though elementary to high school, but it's yeah. the same thing, you know, it's like yeah. establishing that trust, but how do you, as an educator, especially in this climate, how do you establish that trust? Like, what do you do exactly to try to find that? So I try to just let them feel a little bit more comfortable in my classroom. Okay. So I try to relate to them as much as I can. Ask them what's going on outside of the classroom, how they're doing in their sports, what their favorite food is. And <laughs> more often than not, you tend to see them come to you a little bit more often. They come have lunch and get extra help in my classroom just to, you know, chit chat a little bit, get a little bit of extra help. And right. They just seem more interested in what you're trying to teach them, especially chemistry is kind of the hardest. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't stand chemistry. Yeah. How do you like that? What is, like, I just showed you your bike. It had rust on it. Like, I feel like part of you was like, this is cool. Like, yeah. you like the, like, how do you like, reaction. you like rust? Like, <laughs> or the chemical well, I reaction? Teach, I teach rust as, as an example of a chemical reaction. Okay. So I te teach the whole equation. To show kids, you know, on the small scale, everybody knows what rust is, but right. did they know it was a chemical reaction? Right. And how to predict what the product actually is and how it's different than the reactant. So you're abs I totally see what you're saying. In order to get kids excited about <laughs> rust, <laughs> right? Because, uh, you know, they're not signing up for rust class. Yeah, no. but in order to get them excited about rust, you have to establish that trust. Yeah. So that's actually a pretty good one. It's like trust, what, what could it be? Trust equals rust trust or trust equals rust right, so, there's something there trust plus rust sometimes um, yeah we you know we, you and I were talking earlier when we were riding bikes um, about you know sometimes it is there seems to be some negativity in general not just in, in any job there's negativity i don't know maybe not here at main scoop <laughs> not i don't think there's any, there's no negativity in this amazing ice cream place, but sometimes there is. So like, what do you do to kind of either deflect or shield or is it something that you see or is it more, are you somebody, what's your kind of approach to that um, and just making sure that you're staying positive? So I'm a firm believer on school being a safe place. Absolutely. Like it always has been, you know, police officers supposed to be a friend, teachers, yeah. school is supposed to be a safe place. You never really know what's going on at home. Right. I mean, we're fortunate enough at St. Rose that we have great kids and we have great parents that come in, but you never know what's going on outside of school. And if you can make school the happy place for anyone, right. then you're on the right path. That's what it's all about. Yeah. yeah. You just want to make sure that school's your safe zone, and it has to be, because you want them to come to school. You want them to achieve whatever it is they want to achieve. Find what they're good at and roll with it. Yeah, so it's embracing that environment and, yeah. and staying positive and doing that. That really helps you yeah. establish that. It's all for the kids. It's all for the kids. <laughs> it absolutely is. All for the kids and all for the ice cream today. Yes. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you so much for taking time. I know you gotta get back to the beach probably, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's working at the beach. Let me she works at the beach, all right? She's not just hanging out. <laughs> she's a chemistry teacher, she's a swim coach, she trusts her students and they trust her right back. It's easy to see why Mrs. Jillian Miller is an amazing inspiration to all those in her classroom and out. Good.